Epos is on a roll releasing their latest premium gaming headset, the H3 Pro Hybrid. Featuring wireless audio along with ANC, this closed-back gaming headset is packed with features for those who want a multi-purpose pair of cans for the battle station and also on the go. So let's dive in and take a closer look at the Epos H3 Pro Hybrid. Thanks for watching 9to5Toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5Toys, and today we do have the latest and greatest from Epos, the H3 Pro Hybrid. The H3 Pro Hybrid definitely sits on the top of the price bracket, coming in at $280. So what does it have to offer for that price point? Well, it has a little bit of everything. It is a wireless headset, it also has Bluetooth, and it also can be used with USB and 3.5 millimeter connections as well. So this is making it a super versatile headset. That means you can use it on your PC, you can use it on your mobile phone, you can use it on your consoles, and you can do multiple devices at once thanks to that Bluetooth connection. Another big selling point here is the addition of ANC, active noise cancellation. So if you are playing in a noise the environment that's going to help to knock out some you know hums and some background noise but otherwise the h3 pro hybrid is still a gaming headset from epos i mean they're known for their audio quality they used to be partnered up with sennheiser since then they've split but they still kind of have that focus on high quality audio we also recently checked out the H6 Pro from Epos, which is a open back or closed back gaming headset. It's a wired version uh, with just more emphasis on audio quality with a really nice wide sound stage and a really broad frequency response. But this headset, the H3 Pro Hybrid, is the latest in the H3 lineup of headsets and just adds a ton of features to this lineup. And thanks to that closed back design and ANC, it's meant to keep you in the game no matter where you're playing. So taking a look at the design, Epos keeps it very similar to the rest of the H3 lineup. Across the top is a really nicely padded adjustable headband. On the left ear cup is the detachable microphone, which also comes with a magnetic cover that cleans up the design, which I'm a really big fan of. Also on the left ear cup is the 3.5 millimeter cable port, a USB-C port, status light, and the power button. Over on the right ear cup is the volume dial and the multifunction Bluetooth button, as well as the ANC switch for on and off. On the H6 Pro, Epos made a larger dial, which was a great upgrade in my opinion. It was much easier to find. But the H3 Pro Hybrid unfortunately uses that same smaller and harder to find and use dial. The H3 Pro Hybrid comes in black, which from Epos really means an almost black navy blue. Also, interestingly here, the plate that holds the Epos logo on the sides doesn't seem to be the exact same blue as the rest of the headset. I really only notice it when in some sort of direct sunlight or with my studio lights, uh, but it did definitely stand out and I'm surprised it doesn't match. I'm also surprised that Epos doesn't offer any other color options in here. Usually we see at least a black and a white, and on the H6 Pro there was that awesome racing green. So I wish that Epos had included that because I really do think it's a great color combination. Moving on to comfort, at 308 grams, the H3 Pro Hybrid feels relatively lightweight considering the feature set and the pretty reasonable up to 30 hours of battery life. The ear-shaped cups are smaller than those found on the H6 Pro, but they still fit my ears just fine. The tops of my ears make the slightest bit of contact with the inside with the driver covers, but it never became uncomfortable with me for multiple hours of gaming. For the material on the ear cups, Epos is using a soft material where the cups make contact with your skin and a more leatherette for the rest of the finish. There is plenty of cushion and the ear cups feel very comfortable. They're also removable and replaceable just like the other headsets from Epos. Overall, I found that the Epos H3 Pro Hybrid has been a very comfortable headset for extended gameplay sessions. Uh, it's been great this weekend when playing Battlefield 2042. And we mentioned it a little bit, but one of the greatest features in here is ANC, active noise cancellation. So this is pretty rare in a gaming headset, although it's not the only game gaming headset that we've seen to have that feature. So if you're gaming in a noisy environment, this is gonna help to knock out some of those background noises. It works best with, you know, low kind of humps. So if you have an air conditioner or a fan or something going in your room, this is definitely gonna help to knock that out and make it much easier to focus on your game rather than some of the background noise from your room. And you combine that with the passive noise cancellation from the ear cups inherent in this, you know, closed back design. And it does a really nice job of knocking out background noise. Another great feature here is the inclusion of Bluetooth. So you can connect to your phone and you can just listen to music or watch a movie or play games. But you can also use that at the same time while you are connected to something like your PC with the wireless dongle. So if you wanna to listen to music from your phone or you know be connected so you can take calls if you are playing a game, uh, this is just a great feature. And it also makes it usable on the go. So you can take this same headset and take it with you and listen to music or play games on the go as well. And because that microphone is detachable, uh, it does remove on here really easy with a magnetic connection and you can pop on this little magnetic cover. That makes it so the headset looks a little bit better when you are out on the go as well. It doesn't have this, you know, massive boom arm hanging out too. So definitely makes this headset, you know, a little more usable on the go in my opinion and definitely just cleans up the design. 
EPOS always places an emphasis on sound quality. In the past, they were teamed up with Sennheiser, but since parting ways, EPOS is still synonymous with high quality audio. On the H3 Pro Hybrid, EPOS is using 40 millimeter drivers that deliver a frequency response from 20 to 20,000 hertz. Lows are tight and impactful, but never too boomy. For gaming, this means that explosions carry a lot of presence without overwhelming and muddying the rest of the frequency range. In the default EQ profile, it does sound darker than that of something like the Philips Fidelio X3, which is usually my mainstay pair of headphones at my desk, but that can be tweaked within the ePost Gaming Suite app. At the same time, mids are kept in check and not as far forward as the H6 Pro. Highs are also present and clear, but are kept at a reasonable level without ever getting harsh or tinny in my experience. Overall, I'd say that the ePost H3 Pro Hybrid offers a full, well-rounded sound with a noticeable boost on that low end and out of the box this makes for a really fun sound profile. And while the soundstage isn't as wide as the Openback H6 Pro, clarity and positioning are exceptional. Picking out individual instruments and music and footsteps or voice comms in video games is made easy thanks to that clear audio. And if you'd like to tweak the EQ, the H3 Pro Hybrid can be adjusted through that EPOS gaming suite. In the app, you can make adjustments to EQ, enable surround sound, and also make adjustments to the sound of the microphone. I've been using it mainly in the flat profile, which I think is great for gaming. ePost is also focused on getting good battery life for the H3 Pro Hybrid, which you can get up to 30 hours with ANC turned off when you are using the wireless dongle, and with ANC turned on, you can expect up to around 19 hours. So pretty respectable battery life for everything that this headset can do. And here we'll do a mic test on the ePost H3 Pro Hybrid. As you can see here, it has this really nice boom arm that you can easily place right where you want it for the best audio. And they're also saying that they're using two microphones on here. One is supposed to help with, you know, canceling out background noise. So, you know, it's doing a better job of picking up your voice. So to test that, I'll pull out a Razer keyboard with some clicky switches, and we will see how it does as knocking out some of that background noise. So here, I'm just going to talk a little bit and also type. Just gonna play with the WASD keys to see how it does in kind of a more gaming scenario. And you can also adjust the sensitivity and some other parameters of this microphone within the ePost Gaming Suite app if you do wanna dial that in and make it a little bit harder to pick up background noise. All right, well, hopefully that gives you a good idea of what the microphone sounds like on the ePost H3 Pro Hybrid. So overall wrapping up here, I mean, if you want a headset that can do everything, then I definitely think that the Epos H3 Pro Hybrid is gonna be a great choice. It sounds great out of the box, but you can also tweak that EQ and it isn't too gamery thanks to that detachable microphone and it also has that great battery life. But Epos isn't the only company to offer, you know, all these features in a gaming headset. Uh, we also reviewed the JBL Quantum 800, which has ANC, it's wireless, it has Bluetooth. Uh, the battery life isn't as good and it's much more uh, larger and gamery than what this is. Uh, but it's also a little bit more affordable at $200. So if you really need the features and you know aren't like a EPOS brand fanatic, then you might wanna go for that. But I do think that sound quality wise, you'd be better served with the H3 Pro Hybrid and it does have a much better battery life as well. And also if you aren't concerned with ANC and you're fine with using a wired connection, check out our review of the H6 Pro because I do think that is a very good sounding headset and that costs you know, $180. So much more affordable than the $280 price point on the H3 Pro. Pro Hybrid. All right, and that'll wrap it up for our review of the Epos H3 Pro Hybrid. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.